Hey, uh, everybody. Um, I was watching a video on YouTube. I can't exactly remember what the title was, but um, it was about transportation networks or something of that nature. And I had kind of like this flash of inspiration. So I just thought I'd kind of like throw this idea out there and people can give feedback and maybe, you know, if it's a good idea, it'll get some coverage. Um, I'm sure most of you, or at least a percentage of you, will be fam familiar with uh, BitTorrent, or the BitTorrent protocol originally created by uh, Bram Cohen. Um, it's a really brilliant idea. Basically, he was just sort of analyzing, at least from what I have uh, read about uh, how he, he came up with this idea. He was researching um, networks and uh, algorithms and he just kind of saw, or he was able to kind of intellectually penetrate sort of the um, the haze of, of networking and sort of just derive from that this realization that like here there's all this um, bandwidth available, upload bandwidth that basically nobody takes advantage of and so he thought why not use that bandwidth and make networking more efficient specifically for file transfers um, basically if you want to know more go ahead and just uh, look up BitTorrent or go to BitTorrent.com and you can get the details on that if you don't know anything about it already but um, so this flash of inspiration I had was was um, related and the fact that like I was just thinking about how many consumer or uh, not consumer um, commuters there are um, driving you know their cars from a rural area or a suburb to a city every day um, just what a tremendous waste of resources that is um, there are like carpool lanes and so forth but um, ultimately it's just a tremendous waste of fuel, you know, it costs commuters, I don't know, hundreds to thousands of dollars, depending on how long their commute is every, you know, s several months to pay for that commute. Um, it's a very boring, they're just like sitting there in their car driving. You know, that's an issue all in and of itself, but aside from that, what I was thinking of, all the space that is in a car that essentially in my mind represents upload speed um, in the sort of um, metaphorical network that is you know the interstate system you know some people drive trucks they have like all that bed space that may or may not be used so the idea I had here was basically that um, you know truck drivers are really having a hard time right now because of fuel prices and you know some of them are even having to shut down because they just can't afford to pay for the fuel to truck all this stuff now you know it's still up for de debate whether or not uh, the economy is sort of in the end game as far as cheap energy you know some people are saying that um, this is just a temporary thing and fuel prices will eventually go down again and everything will be back to normal some people are saying that this is the beginning of peak oil and we're entering sort of like I said the end game where cheap energy is no longer available and the ramifications of that are going to basically go through every um, tributary of the economy like a tidal wave that will change civilization as we know it um, I'm still kind of personally in my own mind there's a little debate going on there. I'm not 100% certain uh, of which side, you know, things are going to fall onto. But um, basically, back to the idea. Um, truck drivers are having a really hard time. I was thinking, why not take advantage of all this excess um, surplus upload physical space that we have in our vehicles like if things really get tough and say the truck companies just no longer can function and 
you know, the entire economy starts to shut down because of that, there's still all of this, um, well, obviously, we're going to have bigger problems than uh, filling up the tank or whatever, but a, a possibility for restructuring, at least in a sort of an interim period, would be taking advantage of the space in commuter vehicles. Um, you could pay commuters, regular commuters, reliable commuters, you could arrange a contract with them so that they could transport you know a certain X number of goods in their excess space you know in their truck beds in the backseat of their car whatever available space they have just a moment I gotta pause so you could pay them or basically have them sign a contract that would take advantage of this excess, excess surplus space for commuters to transport goods for companies um, you could arrange a whole network. Basically, the, the idea that I had that I think sort of makes this valuable is that it's distributed rather than dedicated. Like, our nor truck, trucking system that we have is every truck, you know, the whole system is dedicated to this one task of um, transporting goods and services across the country to various, like, stores and locations and individuals that need things but if you can take advantage of all this excess space you have a distributed network and of course as everyone knows a distributed network is a lot more um, uh, versatile and robust and ultimately durable kind of like the internet which uh, I was kind of thinking of a title for this video and basically um, I was thinking sort of ideas kind of like this idea that Brian Cohn came up with the fundamental idea of t taking advantage of a network infrastructure to um, to increase efficiency is um, a transcendental idea. It's one that scales across any infrastructure. You can take any kind of network and apply this idea to make it more efficient. So really, I'm just kind of borrowing his idea. This isn't a very original idea, but I think it's kind of ridiculous that we have all this all these re energy and resources wasted um, commuting vehicles when they could very easily um, be transporting goods to outlets or whatever I, I mean obviously it would add a certain amount of time and energy to um, a, a person's individual route and commute that they would have to compensate into their lifestyle for that but they can be financially compensated for that which would of course offset their fuel costs and you would be taking advantage of the surplus space like I've said before so that's pretty much the idea I had um, go ahead and give me feedback if you feel like it um, that's all thanks for watching